What if robots could melt, heal, and rebuild themselves, just like living tissue? That future might already be here. Today, we're diving into one of the most mind-blowing advances in robotics in recent years. Tiny robots that can switch between solid and liquid states. These disc-shaped machines don't just move, they reshape, self-repair, and even mimic biological cells. Created by scientists from Dresden University of Technology and UC Santa Barbara, this innovation could be the first step towards self-healing machines, morphing materials, and even robots that assemble themselves like Lego blocks, but made of metal. To understand how revolutionary this is, let's talk about a core problem in robotics. Strength versus flexibility. Traditional robots are rigid. That's great for structure, but terrible for adaptation. On the other hand, soft robots are flexible, but often too weak or limited in functionality. Engineers have spent decades trying to solve this trade-off, and now we may have an answer. The inspiration came from biology, specifically how embryos grow and repair tissue. Imagine your body healing a cut or a lizard regrowing its tail. That same kind of regenerative principle is what these scientists are bringing to robotics. So, how do these robots work? Each robot is a disc-shaped unit embedded with magnets, motors, and light sensors that gives it the ability to shift between rigid and fluid states, depending on the task. Think of them like smart metallic cells. They can act independently or work together as a swarm to carry weight, change shape, or flow into new configurations. Their movement and coordination is guided by a light-based signal system, essentially a rudimentary brain that tells each unit where to go and how to react. These light signals trigger internal changes, allowing the robots to unlock their rigid connections and become fluid or lock into place to create strong structural supports. If one unit is damaged or dislodged, others can dynamically reposition and take over its function offering a high degree of redundancy and self-repair. Beyond basic movement, they're capable of highly coordinated group behaviors. Shape morphing. A group of robots can align into a flat sheet, then reconfigure into a bowl, a ramp, or a cylindrical column, depending on the environment and task. Load bearing. In solid mode, they can distribute weight like a scaffold, holding objects or even supporting moving parts. Reconfiguration. The units can detach and reassemble elsewhere, meaning one system can serve multiple purposes just by shifting form. Environmental adaptation. Using sensors, they detect light, temperature, and pressure, helping them respond intelligently, much like organic cells reacting to external stimuli. And here's where it gets wild. These aren't just prototypes. The researchers believe they can scale this to thousands of bots working in perfect sync unlocking swarms of programmable matter that reshape the world around us. Now imagine this, a swarm of coin-sized robots melting into a liquid puddle to flow through a narrow pipe, then solidifying into a wrench on the other side, or a wearable device that molds itself to your body, reshaping to support your muscles, then liquefying to become flat and invisible. This flexibility has never before been seen in a robotic system this compact. And while 20 units is just the beginning, the real vision is scaling this up to thousands or even millions of coordinated microbots. Let's talk about why this could be a turning point in robotics and materials science. We're seeing the rise of programmable matter, physical systems that change structure and function on command. Think beyond machines. Think of materials that act like living organisms. Imagine spacecraft that reconfigure in orbit for different tasks deploying solar arrays, morphing into shielding, or assembling satellites. Military applications where a tool transforms from a sensor array into a drone on the fly. Home environments where furniture or surfaces reshape in real time to accommodate different needs. Desks that fold out, cushions that change firmness, or walls that insulate or ventilate dynamically. And more crucially, materials that heal. Picture. A cracked drone wing reassembling mid-flight. A robotic limb adjusting pressure in real time to avoid injury. 
devices that last years longer because they repair rather than break. But here's the deeper implication. This development isn't just about tools. It challenges our ideas about what machines are. In traditional robotics, structure is static and intelligence is centralized. These bots blur that line. Intelligence is distributed across units. Structure is fluid. They function more like organisms than machines. That's a profound shift. What if one day, your smartwatch wasn't a fixed object, but a dynamic companion that reshaped itself, updated its features physically, and even healed from scratches or cracks without you noticing? What if an entire building's structural supports adjusted based on the wind, heat, or crowd movement in real time, morphing like muscle and bone? Future forecast within five years, we could see versions of this tech used in disaster response, adaptive medical devices, or modular furniture that reconfigures on demand. Within 10, it might be in your clothing, your car, or even your body. Potential risks and challenges, there are big hurdles, of course. Power efficiency. These bots currently rely on external power and light. Shrinking their energy systems without overheating is a major challenge. Control complexity. Coordinating hundreds or thousands of independent agents in real time is like managing a robotic ant colony and requires entirely new software paradigms. Security and ethics. What happens when a shape-shifting robot can infiltrate tight spaces, carry payloads, or operate unsupervised? How do we ensure they're used ethically? Reality check this isn't tomorrow. But if history tells us anything, it's that breakthroughs like this tend to scale faster than expected and get cheaper just as quickly. Just like smartphones or drones, today's lab prototype could be tomorrow's everyday tool. These robots, once scaled and refined, could redefine how we build, heal, adapt, and interact with the physical world. One of the lead researchers explained, we wanted to build robots that are more like cells, able to change form, repair themselves, and respond intelligently to their environment. Another said, this isn't about building better machines. It's about creating programmable matter materials that think and act. Shape-shifting robots aren't just a technical curiosity. They could be the beginning of a new era in how we interact with machines, not as rigid tools, but as living systems that grow, adapt, and evolve. This isn't just the future of robotics. It's the future of matter itself. So, what would you do with a material that can heal itself and change shape on command? If you're into futuristic tech like this, remember to like and subscribe for more artificial intelligence and tech news and hit the bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching and let's hear your thoughts down in the comment.